Hello, my name is Sophia Marin. I'm an incident responder and a Microsoft enthusiast. In today's video, if you are interested in getting into cybersecurity and building a lab, this is the video for you. So if you like this content, feel free to share, subscribe, and like. It's going to be a great support for me as a small content creator. So here we are. A lot of times if you have seen my content or if this is the first time, I explain a lot about the identity based in the cloud. In the cloud space we're working, we're working with the product of Azure. Azure has a product called IntroID, in which allows you to manage your users, your applications, your groups, and many other parts of the directory as you need. Now, when you're working in identity and you want to have a lot to understand all these concepts and get familiar with the cloud, I want to let you know one thing. First of all, signing in for the cloud itself it's totally for free, right? Meaning that if you're just using it for users and groups and you don't have a license, there's going to be no cost. Now, if you want to go ahead and create a virtual machine, that virtual machine will have a fact, a cost during the runtime, right? You can turn on the machine, depends on the machine sizing and the version, and you're going to let it run for a couple of hours. They're going to bill you. For that amount of time you chose to. So today's video we're going to focus on actually having an Active Directory Lab, but not only a basic Active Directory Lab. We want to create one that is going to allow us to develop our security skills and do red team and blue team incident response work. I want to mention that for the red team activity you don't need a license. Now if you want to go through my videos I uh, will highly suggest to open up a trial so you can have all the benefits of our security features and learn things such as Defender for Identity, Identity Protection, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Azure Sentinel, and many others. So hope you like it and let's begin. What you're seeing right now is the fact of you creating the account, right? So if you go into the Azure portal, and I'm going to just demo it here real quick, Azure portal, and this is super easy. Right, I have two labs and I, did, I chose to use another account, not the ones that I have in my lab. And I say, hey, I want to create one. So, so here we are prompted. Now, there's going to be two options. One is that you already had an account or you could even sign in for an account that already has office. What's going to be the, the, the difference thing is that, of course, if you're going to go for an account, an email one, it means that you already purchased for a domain and everything. Now, if you don't want to go and purchase a domain, one uh, real cool thing to do is that you come over here and we're going to browse out to Office E5 trial account. So this way we're going to have both of things, right? You're going to have a Office tenant, right? And an Azure tenant. They're different. So E5 is the highest gear you can get. And I know over here you say try for free. Um, E5 has all the part of security built in and the highest consumption. So one key part uh, that I will stop the video for is that you do have to put a credit card associated when you're signing up for the product. So let's say here, let's going to create and we're going to say Grandal. Three eighty four at let's say the Lord of the Rings tech.com. Next, so what's going to happen is that Microsoft will adopt, right? where I'm going to actually pause this and fill it up and be right with you guys. Okay, so once we're done with some of the paperwork, work, we're going to be here, right? We already selected our mock account. You're going to see that it's actual and on Microsoft the domain. So I haven't purchased the Lord of the Rings tech, right? Am I using it just for the on Microsoft benefits? Now, one of the things that you could see here on the screen, the benefits overall of the E5 license, and that I will have one month, right? 
uh, for this lab for me for free, then you can choose to do whatever. So I highly encourage you, if you're going to just use it for time, actually keep using it, right? Um, when you're signing up for it and enjoy the most out of the, of the trial version. So we do here next. This is going to continue part of the paperwork and creating the account. Once we have this account, we can go back to Azure and sign up for Azure. So we're going to say save. And right here is what I was referring to, uh, the fact of winning a credit card, right? Um, it says you could see it's $38 for one user. And you could use this for trial purposes, right? So I'm going to pause right here and go through this process. Okay, so I already fill up all the details. I have the account created, and uh, this is the admin center. So I, as I mentioned, I had a couple of multiple labs. So we're going to switch to this one, and this is a brand new one. So we're going to go back here into create account. We're going to say this email address that we just have access, and I am going to go into my office 360 profile i'm choosing this one oh my god i'm in the wrong page my bad okay so here we are and these are all the admin centers right because the account that you sign up for is going to be the global admin so if we do show all over here here we have we have intra portal the identity id so we're going to go into this one and now we should be uh, good to start the creation of identities now to create identities in the lab, I highly suggest using Purple Cloud. One of the really cool things is that it's made in a way that is really weak. So you can go ahead and take the most out of the Red Team activities and having a real life example. Um, this, as you could see over here, has their own dedicated website. You could see on the release notes of the README, the Python versions is allowed. It's mostly Python, a little bit of PowerShell. And we're going to get this one going. I also recommend highly because it uses Superform. Uh, to take a look at the website and learn a lot of things because in the part two of this video we're going to do how to create a lab that does involve having virtual machines up and running so let's open the shell and get this one going i'm going to start by installing terraform i'm using the help of chocolate if you haven't used chocolate it's an amazing cmd command line that you can use in windows to install all of this so we're going to say all, and we're going to get Terraforms. The next thing we got to go ahead and do is going to get or Python. I think in this machine, I had it. So either way, I'm going to just delete it um, to demo the whole thing with you. OK, it's install. And actually, I deleted it. Uh, so we do again, choco install. Yes, and we're choosing Python 3. Okay, once all of this is installed, uh, we're going to go back to the GitHub repository. You can do it with a click or a git clone. We're going to actually just do it with a click. And I'm going to get actually that started right here. So this is the GitHub clone, by the way, if you are new to this, I'm going to download this. Make sure how this process is going. And we'll be back once fully and we fully installed or Terraform we need and ready to run. So once we have um, Python installed, we check the version and we have the pip, we're going to install the pip install figure. This is one of the dependencies. Once this is installed based on the Azure Cloud Gold, the next thing we got to do is sign in into Azure. So let's give it a moment to run and I'll be back. 
So I already have installed all dependencies that we looked at it, right? The Python Dasher CLI and the, the Python Faker plugin. So the next thing we want to go ahead and do is that in order for Terraform to run, we will need it to go ahead and run in a context. So you get a sign in. So you do AC login. This is going to prompt out um, another browser session. We select it. Okay. Once we are in, as you can see here, and it's going to authenticate and you're in your subscription, um, you're going to navigate um, where, and I'm remembering, where you had the purple app installed. So I have it on Temps. Okay, once I am there, I'm going to do dear, and you're going to see here the generators. Here and so these are the scripts in order to generate them, the different labs. Okay, if you're interested in doing another lab besides the one I'm demoing, you can always go to the purple.network. I'm going to leave the GitHub repository so you can take a look. And here it explains what it's doing, right? So we're going to go and take this out. And the only thing I have to configure for my lab over here is the UPN. So what does it mean? This means that I'll have 25 users, 25 accounts. Over here, I'm going to put uh, the UPN. Over here, we have the applications. This means that it's an application admin, a global admin, and a privilege escalation. All these flags are also documented here, and they're useful for precisely the red teaming right in order to have it i already had a run in it and i have the output right here and here you can read the privilege role administrator that it was given to one of the groups um, also the global admin to another group and also the application administrator to an account now what we're going to be running it's um terraform we're going to initiate it and this is the last part of it. Once you have created, once we have created the output and we're just gonna verify that real quick, you do there and you're gonna see that you have the DXT files over there, um, right here. These are the different information we saw. So the next thing we gotta go ahead and do is that we're gonna initiate Terraform. So Terraform is gonna go ahead and use the output we used. So it's gonna come up and say we're going to plan, uh, we're going to auto approve. So I have that command. Okay, so now we're going to approve that and apply it. Now, all the different random passwords are going to be there. You can go ahead and change them once that's committed, and I'll be back. It's going to take just a couple of seconds then to present the environment. So that's when it's creating everything, and it seems that it's going faster than we thought. So as you could see here right now, we're creating both the users, the 25 users, the applications, uh, the different roles and assigning those roles to uh, both the service principles, aka the applications and to the groups. And, and I'm going to just open a new browser and I'm going to start navigating to the Azure portal. Um, this is the new lab. And if we go into the Entra ID part of the portal, and it's you're gonna see now all the 25 users have been applied. So I hope you like this video. Uh, please share and subscribe. And thank you. See you in the next one. Bye bye.